I was recently asked on our Excel forum if there's a way to generate a list of dates skipping weekends, Mondays and holidays. In other words, just list Tuesday through Friday and skip any holidays. Now the Workday.intl or Workday International function has built-in options for weekends and holidays, but it's not obvious that you can also specify other days to skip. So in this video, we'll look at how the Workday International function works and I'll share this little known trick for specifying which days of the week you want to list. We'll start with a basic example of how the Workday International function works before we dive into the less obvious tricks it can perform. The function returns a date serial number that is the specified number of working days before or after the start date. By the way, Workday International is the newer version of the Workday function. It simply allows you to specify which days your weekend falls on whereas Workday doesn't allow for that. So we're going to use Workday International. The start date is in this cell here. The number of days we want to shift from that start date is in this cell here. And our weekends, we can choose which day they fall on, whether there's two days or one day from this list. I'm going to just choose one, which is also the default. And then if you have a list of holidays, you can specify them here and I have them in this list. I'm going to close parentheses on my formula and you can see it's adjusted the start date by five days, excluding weekends, Saturdays and Sundays and any holidays. Let's just double click to copy it down and you can see how the formula calculates. And this is what most people use it for. What happens if you have more than just two days off? Well, in that case, you can specify them in a string of values that represent each day of the week. And you can see an example of that in cell D23 here. It starts with Monday. One represents a non-work day and zero represents a work day. So here we can see that Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday are work days and Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday are days off. Now you can either specify the string in a cell and then reference that cell in your formula you can see I'm referencing it there. Actually, it'd be easier to edit it here and you can see the references. So you can see I'm referencing cell D23 as my weekend dates. Alternatively, you can hard key the string into the formula. Now, not many people know that you can use Workday International to automatically generate a list of dates. The process is different depending on whether you have the new dynamic array functions or not. So I'll cover both and we'll start with the dynamic arrays. Let's say I want to list 10 dates starting on the 1st of January 2022. So I'm just going to type my date in, double quotes. Now my dates are day, month, year. If yours are month, day, year, then obviously you'll flip the way you enter your date accordingly. The number of days, well, I want to return a list of 10 dates. And because I have the new dynamic array formulas, I'm going to use a sequence function to return a list of numbers one through 10. My weekend days, well, in this case, Monday is a work day, Tuesday is a day off, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are work days, and Saturday and Sunday are days off. So I'm going to enter the string in there. And then my holidays are in this table. Close parentheses. Now, because this is a dynamic array formula, when I press enter, the list spills to the cells below and you can see it returns a list of dates. The first date is Wednesday the 5th because you can see Monday the 3rd of January is a holiday. So it skips that date in the first week, but from the second week, you can see it returns Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, Wednesday, Thursday to return me a list of 10 dates. Now, if I just enter some carriage returns here, Alt and Enter, you can see the formula a bit better in the cell below. So there's the formula there with the different components. Alternatively, if you don't have dynamic arrays, then you need to select the number of rows that you want dates returned to. So remember, I want a list of 10. Then you can write the formula. And again, the start date is the 1st of January, 2022. And I don't have the sequence function in Excel 2019 and earlier. So we can use the row function to return a list of values one through 10. And then the weekend dates are the same as before. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. And then my holidays are in this table here. Close parentheses. 
And because this is an array formula, I need to enter it with control shift and enter. And you can see we get the same list of dates returned. Again, let me go back and add some carriage returns in here so we can see the different components a bit more clearly. So there you have the two options for creating lists of dates with Workday International, depending on whether you have Excel 2021 or Microsoft 365, or for earlier versions, Excel 2019 and prior, you can use this method here. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download my free ebook and Excel file covering everything you need to know about working with dates and time in Excel from the link here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.